Hi, I'm Rich Harvey, CEO of Property Buyer. Summer is coming and how good it is to see the sun after weeks of rain. This sunshine is helping to create a more positive vibe in the real estate market too. We're starting to see an uptick in buyer confidence for well-located and quality properties. Now this confidence is also reflected in the recent auction clearance rates results that we saw during October, which averaged around 60 to 65%. Sydney and Melbourne also saw an increase in the total volume of auctions. So what's happening to property prices and when will they bottom out? The latest CoreLogic figures show that the rate of price decline is now slowing. This means we're through the eye of the storm and we're moving beyond that correctional phase of this property cycle and we're approaching the trough sooner than expected. Sydney's dwelling values are down 10.1% since Sydney reached its peak value in February 2022, where we saw prices rise 30%. From January 2020, when COVID first hit, Sydney is still up 13%, and prices are now likely to plateau over the next few months. Melbourne is showing a different story. Melbourne's property prices peaked around 17.6% higher in 2021, and since the start of the year, Melbourne property prices have only retracted around 6.4%. Now, Brisbane has experienced incredible growth over the COVID period, with dwelling prices jumping an unprecedented 43.5%, but have now declined 6.1%. One fundamental question I'm asked regularly is, will Australia go into a recession given the global economic issues? The simple answer is no, we're unlikely to go into recession for these reasons. Our budget deficit is manageable at only around 1.5% of GDP. The most recent 22-23 budget has delivered a better than anticipated forecast deficit of $39 billion revised down from $78 billion. And total government debt is still under 30% of total GDP, whereas most other advanced nations are well over 100%. Inflation is likely to come down faster, and migration is ramping up in a massive way, which will help solve our chronic labour shortages. And finally, GDP growth is expected to peak at 3.25% this financial year before slowing to 1.5% next financial year. The key takeaway here is that our economic issues are vastly different to Europe. While the rest of the world may enter recession, Australia continues with a sound economic credentials, a robust lending system and AAA rated banks. Now the most recent federal budget issued last week came up with this ambitious plan to have a million new homes built over the next five years from mid 2024. So three quick comments on that policy. Why are they waiting a year and a half to get going? Secondly, we're already building around 170,000 dwellings anyway. And thirdly, where are they gonna find all the carpenters, electricians and other trades to build them? My final comment is that we're sensing there's gonna be a late spring surge this year. There's still time for vendors to list and still time for buyers to purchase their property and move in before the Christmas period. If you'd like to discuss any of your property plans, then please reach out to my team today We'd be delighted to help. I'm Rich Harvey. Thanks for watching.